got here quite a few nodules that we're going to be splitting open. Quite a big nodule here. One we've already opened, which has a really lovely pyrotized fragma cone. Let's give that a little bit of a wet so you can see. Love the colours on it. It's a nice big 3D one as well. This is part of the fossil squid-like creature. What about the big pointed vellum night guard coming out of the nodule? So that's one we're definitely keeping today. Got another lovely ammonite. The really brown outer shell already showing. And then another couple of nodules, also with ammonites here. We're going to open them up, see where that leaves us, and most likely, Jay, uh, this specimen home to prepare with the tools. So if you stick around in the video, we'll take this home and prepare it and show one of my other favourite fossils as well. I'm going to get on my super safe safety glasses. Dry site's very important, so you need to make sure it's as protected as possible. I haven't really worn safety glasses in my previous videos, but I realised I probably should have. I should probably start wearing them now to lead a good example. From now on, I'll be, always be wearing my safety glasses. Okay, we can already see the specimen here. Let's start by opening this one up. Sometimes we would use a hammer and chisel, sometimes just a hammer. This one looks like it just needs the hammer. Okay, a little bit of stone is flaking off. It's not going to give up very easily. It should go pretty soon. I'm surprised it's not already gone. There we are. Looks like it's gone very nicely. Beautiful split all the way around. Looks like it's gone just below the specimen. Very good. That moment of truth. Nice. Yep, very pleased with that. A little bit of stone in the center just to remove with the finer tools at home. But other than that, that's gone really well. Right, let's go for this one next. Now again, I'm pretty hopeful this will contain an ammonite. You can't at the moment tell there's one inside, so it's pure speculation. Because we'll find out. Alright went quite a bit quicker than the other one, than the previous ammonite, so because it's split all the way around in one plane, it's giving us the hint that there is a nice ammonite inside. And there was, again, there's a little bit of limestone in the centre which just needs cleaning out, but other than that, beautiful split, nice bit of pyrotization around. It's going well so far today. Now Shay is going to open up a few. Well, the last remaining two. We've got this specimen and the very big nodule. So Shay is going to open these up. See if the glass is on at the ready. I've got some on as well, just to make sure. easiest of nodules to split okay so it's not gone all the way around this time it's just revealed most of it should we try and get the rest of it off yeah. a bit more revealed Ready. all right now we're going to open the final nodule the biggest one Uh, 
right? Moment of truth. Ah, uh, it's had a really, really poorly preserved ammonite inside. There's no definition on it whatsoever, but it was still worth opening just on the off chance. We've got a few nice ammonites there. Unfortunately, the biggest nodule didn't contain anything worth taking. We had our hopes up that it would have. So we've got a few nice fossils. And this one, which we're going to take home and prepare in the next part of the video, as well as showing one of our favourite fossils at home. Pretty pleased with today's hunt. I forgot to mention, but just as we were about to put the ammonites into my bag, I just remembered that we found this lovely fossilised shell. It's really nice quality. Very nice. It's not totally 3D, but still pretty unusual to find one this big and this complete. What you found there, Shay? A nice little vertebra. Next to a bellum knight. Oh! It's a nice little combo. Is it loose? Oh, yep, it's loose. Do you want me to lift it out or do you want to lift yeah, it go out? Go for it. Okay. Very nice. This is where the neural spine would have come off. And there's a little rib attachment. So it would have had ribs coming off there and there. A little neural spine. That's a nice find. Well done. We're back home now to prepare the ammonite fossil and then afterwards we've got a pretty nice marine reptile bone piece to show. The ammonite turned out not too bad. It looks like the centre of the specimen is actually not fully preserved though. Still pretty nice though and worth taking the risk to prepare it in the hope that it was perfect underneath. And next we have the bone piece to show. I found this bone piece quite a few years ago and really pleased with it. It's one of my favourite pieces even to this day. As you can see, it almost looks like spaghetti the way the ribs are all laid over the vertebrae there's actually a section of articulated vertebrae underneath these ribs and all the ribs are sort of broken um, and bent over the vertebrae and what 
washed ne next to it is a bellum like fossil so this is one of these squid like creatures we've shown before it's really nice to have two different well two completely different fossils associated with each other in the same piece um, there's a little shell as well just down there but yeah just walking along on the beach and saw some little pieces of bone and took it home and prepared it and this is what it turned out to be so incredibly pleased with this one of my best finds from a few years ago sadly the rest of the specimen was probably destroyed by the sea you know it's quite likely that the entire skeleton would have been preserved but as the sea does it destroys fossils so at least we saved this piece you never know someone else might have found other pieces that join on as well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one